The NTS-500 inspection camera features a 5-inch tempered glass screen in a tablet form factor that's easy to operate with just one hand. It is ideal for auto mechanics, plumbers, electricians, HVAC pros, and home DIY. The monitor is weather resistant and is safe to use in light rain or splash with water, while the camera probe is IP67 rated to be submergible. This device is modular and can be purchased with several camera probe options that range from 3.9 millimeters to 12.5 millimeters in diameter and from 1 meter to 5 meters in length. You can choose from single lens, dual lens, triple lens, or autofocus lens probes to adapt your NTS-500 to a wide range of inspection tasks. After opening the box, you'll see the NTS-500 monitor, the camera probe, a USB cable, and different camera probes come with different accessories. The accessories can include a hook, a mirror, and a magnet. But some probes with side view lenses don't include mirrors, and our smallest 3.9 mm probes are not threaded to accept any accessories. The USB cable is for downloading content and charging the monitor. Test long firearm bore scopes will also work with this monitor, but are not usually sold with it. If you want to use a bore scope with this monitor, just add the NTG 100 QTQ cable to your order, and the bore scope will easily connect. We'll start off by going over the monitor. At the bottom of the screen is the power button. At the right of the screen, you'll find buttons for the mode, settings, up and down, OK, photo or video capture, and the ring light adjust. On the top side of the monitor is the button for the LED flashlight as well as the light. On the bottom left of the monitor, you'll find a rubber door, and behind that, you'll see a micro SD card slot and a USB plug for charging and downloading content. On the back of the monitor, you'll find the reset button and the speaker. Now we'll install an inspection probe. First, we align the groove on the probe with the red dot on the threaded port and thread the collar onto the port. The device should start with a long press of the power button, followed by the screen logo, and the ring light on the probe should turn on. Check the ring light by pressing the ring light button to cycle through three levels of brightness, as well as turn the ring light off and on. You'll see some icons on the screen including the SD card indicator and battery level in the upper right corner, the date and timestamp in the lower right corner, and in the upper left corner, you'll see the photo or video mode indicator. If the battery indicator is low, you should charge the device. To take a photo, simply press the capture button while in photo mode and the image will be saved to the memory. To change from photo to video mode, just press the mode button. Now you can record video when you press the capture button, and the time code will show in the lower left-hand corner of the screen in red. In photo or video mode, you can flip the screen view 180 degrees by pressing the down button. If your inspection camera came with a dual or triple lens probe, you change which lens you are looking through by cycling the button right above the probe port. It's easy to change your view with a multi-lens probe. You don't even have to move your camera from the inspection area. Now that we have some photos and video captured, you can view these files on the monitor in playback mode. But if you want to move the files to a computer, there are two ways to do this. The first method is to plug your monitor into the computer with the USB cable and find the drive in the Finder window. Note the monitor needs to be turned on to see the files on the computer. If you don't turn it on, all you will do is charge the monitor's batteries. Navigate to the DCIM folder, and you will see photos and video from the device stored there, and can drag and drop them onto the computer. Another option for removing the files is to remove the micro SD card and insert it into a card reader and pull the files out of the DCIM folder. 
If you want to adjust the settings on your device, click the Settings button to see the changes that can be made to things like resolution, date stamp, and audio. Click Settings again to go to the second menu page with adjustments for the Auto Power Off, Language, Date or Time, Format, Default Settings Reset, and the Version Information. Finally, to get the best image quality from your inspection camera, clean the camera lens before and after each use with a soft microfiber cloth and a cotton swab. For stubborn stains, you can use warm water or rubbing alcohol, but don't use stronger solvents. The screen and monitor can also be wiped down to clean away dust and fingerprints with a microfiber cloth and a few drops of warm water or rubbing alcohol. Store the device in its plastic case when you aren't using it. That covers everything you need to know to use a Teslong NTS 500 inspection camera. If you still have more questions or are experiencing any issues with your product, please contact us via email, online chat on our website, or call us on the number shown on the screen. And thank you for purchasing your product from Teslong.